What is the most terrifying thing you've ever experienced while home alone? I have been pretty fortunate based on these comments but I was home alone one night while my wife and son were visiting my mill. I walked back to our bedroom to see someone rummaging through my son's room on the video baby monitor. Immediately grabbed my firearm and yelled to the other side of the house I am armed. Come out slowly. Over and over while slowly making my way back to his room. Got there flipped on the light and... Nothing. Searched the whole house pumped full of adrenaline. Finally satisfied I was alone I went back to my room and the guy was back in the room. I took a closer look and I am ashamed to say I was looking at myself. The camera is a live feed on our Wi-Fi, and it was steaming on a huge delay. I have never known it to do that and it has not done it since. TLDR went looking for myself and came back empty handed. Somebody tried to break into the house while I was by myself. The whole place was quiet and dark at night time. I walked past the front door to go upstairs for bed. And the handle suddenly started jerking around like the Hulk was trying to get in. Then whoever it was started to either kick or shoulder the door. And it was making the whole frame jiggle. I completely froze and my mind went blank. Just standing there like an idiot and staring. My dog bolted down the stairs like it was her time to shine. Scrambled on the tile. And let loose the most vicious barks I've ever heard. Whoever it was left. She was a very good girl. I miss her. I was chilling on the couch. Doing whatever. When suddenly a really heavy person starts sprinting in our attic. Sounded like steel toed boots and everything. I'm a really small woman. So I immediately freaked out. Thinking there's a gigantic man stomping around my home. Then the screaming starts. Literal f king screaming. Like something from the exorcist. And there's multiple voices. I sneaked outside and cried. Extremely shaken. And called the cops. Guess what's in my attic? Not a big rape why rapist. No. Raccoons. Also. The raccoons were mating. That's what the screaming came from. I bawled to the cops about HRNY raccoons. When I was young. I came home from a party in the middle of the night. When my dad were out of town. I started making a midnight quesadilla when I heard someone cough in the basement. I yelled and ran outside. And they took off through the backyard. Come to find out. My dad's ex GFS daughter stole her key to our house and came to rob us. She was busted a couple years later doing this to her sill. One evening an explosion at a petrochemical plant, located a mile from my house, blew out the double window in my living room while I was in the room. I definitely thought we were being bombed until I remembered where I live. I had just let my dog out to the backyard and he was completely traumatized. For the following two months I had to carry him outside and sit in the grass with pieces of chicken just so he would potty. Edit to add. My house is currently for sale for unrelated reasons. A few years back I was home alone during a power storm. I went into the bathroom to take a dump and at the exact time I was shitting I sneezed. Well the power went out as well. The house was pitch black and I literally thought I shti myself blind. I couldn't see my hand so in a panic I was yelling Nuru this cannot be true I was in a panic feeling for the toilet paper to wipe and flush. After completing the task I just sat on the toilet trying to figure out how to tell everyone I know that I literally shti myself blind by sneezing while shitting. After about 2 minutes of complete darkness and dread and panic lightning struck outside and lit up my hallway. Best damn feeling ever. I lit two long taper candles for some ambience while I was playing guitar late at night. I was facing the other direction looking out the window while playing and shortly later turned around and went back towards the candles and discovered one of them was completely gone. The stand was still there. But no melted wax. Just a bare candle holder and the other one was still lit and no shorter than it was when I lit them. It was almost 3am and I was so terrified that I got in my car and left and drove to my dad's house. When I was about 10 years old someone kept ringing the doorbell for like 10 minutes. Was fking creepy. I had a very similar thing happen to me a few years ago. Someone knocked. Meaning they were in the apartment building already. So I figured it was a neighbor. I opened the door without looking first. 
and there was a very drunken man standing there. He did his best to get inside the apartment, blocking the door with his foot. But I shoved him as hard as I could on the chest and he stumbled back. He continued to knock and bang and ring on the doorbell until the cops showed up. I was asleep at home alone. When I turned over in bed, I casually opened my eyes a little whilst turning and they were shut again just as quickly. In that split second, I could have sworn I had seen a man stood at the bottom of my bed. I laid still, awake with my eyes closed, trying not to act like I was awake and trying to listen for any sound in the room of someone breathing or moving. Couldn't hear anything. I was too scared to open my eyes and look. Consoled myself that there wasn't any way someone could have gotten in without me hearing a window smash and fell back asleep. When I got up in the morning though the front door was open. They didn't take anything and left no signs of being there. Was still very very creepy though. Edit. Typo. The guy wasn't a stud he was stood. Edit. Thanks for my first award. I. I had the police knock one day while I was alone. The cop had a guy in the back of his car who said we were holding his friend captive. I showed the cop my ID and explained that it was just me and my husband he wasn't home but they could look if they wanted to and he said no that was okay and then asked questions about my neighbors. Got a 5 channel sound system. Nothing too fancy but the best I'd ever had. Watched a action film and heard a creaking door to my left in the distance. I had to clear my home as I thought there was an intruder. Nope. Just better stereo sound. Edit. It's a 5. 1 system. The two behind me cause all the problems. They are oriented towards the outside of my house. Sorry for any confusion in my lack of terminology. The cleaning lady tried to commit suicide in our bathroom. She died 4 days later. I can't be the only one wondering why she chose your bathroom. My BF worked away from home a lot and I always struggled to sleep on the first night he was away. On this occasion I was woken by the sound of a man shouting and then someone banging on wood or a front door. I jumped up and looked out my bedroom window. Just in time to see a man dressed all in black walking through our garden towards the house. I ran to the front of the house to look out of the front window and make sure he kept going. He did. But he met up with another man dressed in black walking towards my house. I was terrified and called the police. They arrived in a matter of minutes and checked out the back garden but they were gone. Turned out a neighbor had caught them both trying to steal his car and one had escaped through the gardens while the other had run through the roads and they had met up outside my house. I didn't sleep at all that night and my brother came to stay the next night. I'm so glad I live in an apartment now. Much more security. You know those tongs in the kitchen that have a spring but a latch to keep them together. I had a pair of those and I put the latch on and put them down on the counter. I went away for a bit and came back and then they jumped off the counter at me. Biggest jump scare of my life. The latch had come undone and they sprung open. But in the millisecond when inanimate objects suddenly come to life and jump at you you don't realize this and totally freak out. This is one of my favorites here. I am absolutely cracking up imagining this. One night I was home alone grilling and chilling. Drinking beer and smoking dope. About half lit. Wearing my hoe clothes. It was a great time. As soon as I sat down to eat I heard a woman yelling for help and pounding on doors. Once I realized she was wasn't a threat to me I sprinted up the road to find her. She was covered in blood and told me her husband was trapped in the truck he flipped. She kept trying to get me to help her pull him out of the truck and I said lady. I know this is an emergency but I ain't no EMT the worst part was I live in the woods with no cell service. But luckily I was able to get to my landlord's attention so he could call 911 from the landline. I was up until 3am that night because I could not win down after the fact. Everyone survived and the guy got out on his own. But it was the scariest night of my life. I work from home. So I'm home alone a lot. One day I was working. And out of the corner of my eye I noticed some movement in my backyard. There was a man jumping over my fence into my backyard. Panicked. I call my then boyfriend now fiance and tell him what is happening. While I'm on the phone with him. I get a knock at my front door. 
It's a woman from Century Link informing me that technicians will need access to my backyard. I tell her someone just jumped over my fence so I think they're already there. Way to give me a heart attack. Century Link. Nothing quite that terrifying yet, PLS age well. But once I left all the bathroom windows open wide by mistake when it was very windy and I woke up in the middle of the night to the bathroom door slamming open and shut and felt like I was gonna piss myself with fright. I stayed in bed like I was paralyzed and I could feel this cool breeze coming into my room, all the cold air being let in lol. I prayed to whoever above to remove who or whatever it was from my home and asked for my life to be spared. Yes I'm a fucking PSSY y'all. I got under the covers and called my aunt and asked her to come over as she had a spare key and she did. Her and her husband came with weapons and charged upstairs into the bathroom. No fear. They realized it was the wind pushing the door around. I still stayed with her that night lol. Vertical bar. Sleep paralysis. Waking up from a nightmare soaked in sweat. With a weight on my chest and completely unable to move. Sometimes I see shadowy shapes or feel there's someone watching. I've had this a few times and it's so fking scary. I try to scream but no sound comes out and I try to reach for my fiance but I can't move a muscle. All while it feels like I'm being pinned down and there's either a shadowy figure by my bed or I feel some kind of evil presence in the room. I hope it's a long time until the next one. I was home for the weekend from uni but my parents and siblings were away so was home alone. Our house is quite secluded. With a church and graveyard next door and closest neighbors up the street but quite a bit away. I had all the doors locked and was settling down to watch a movie when the doorbell starts to ring so I go to answer it. No one there. Then the back doorbell rings. No one there again. This keeps happening over and over and it is pitch black outside. Then whoever it was began banging on windows and yelling at this point I'm freaking out so I begin to call the police and yell at the people outside that I've called them when it turns out it was a couple of fellas from uni playing a prank on me. I was terrified and reduced to tears at this point but they thought it was hilarious. They did a few more things like that to me over the 2-3 years I was at uni with them. And I always thought they were my friends. I'm older and wiser now to know that they were just cunts. I get auditory hallucinations when I'm tired that's brought on by my anxiety. The one that caused the worst anxiety attack I'd had in months was just as I was drifting off to sleep a guy yelled hey right into my ear and I launched myself out of bed before realizing what had happened. I was 13 and my dad was at work and my little sister, then 8, was at my gram's house. My dad and my older sister, then 16, had recently stolen back her dog. The sweetest Aussie Shepherd mix you ever met, from the guy my mom had given it to after she abandoned my older sister on the side of the road. This man did not treat the dog well and the dog still gets scared before eating to this day. So while I was home alone, the man comes up the driveway and knocks on the door. I gave the one minute gesture and then grabbed the dog, literally had to carry her because she hates stairs and my janky flipped phone and locked myself in the upstairs bedroom to call my dad while freaking out and then calling the cops and getting mad at them because I was 13 and scared and alone. Edit for clarity. My mum once shouted my name when I was home alone. She was in another country. It was midnight. And I live in a 7 bedroomed house. Also. I once heard a scratching noise outside my house turned on the lights to see a rat had crawled up a window and was gnawing at the window frame. At 10 p.m. I hate when there's a random noise in the house like a door slamming shut. And the unsettling feeling of not being alone when you've already checked if everyone's gone. Closed circuit cameras with motion monitors mine can tell how big something is and where it is in the house and even says what camera to look at to see it. But it was a $15k system. 100% worth it though lysing out in the boonies with the nearest house 5 miles away. I was babysitting a kid who had a video monitor and was told that she wouldn't wake up while the parents were out and if she did to call them right away. I was watching TV with the monitor set off to the side to keep an eye on her and right around 11. The camera's view shifted a few inches. It then began to slightly jiggle like someone was messing with it. I was squinting at it trying to decide what I was actually seeing. And I kid you not. 
the whole screen burst a static for a few seconds. And the kid started wailing. She stood up and was screaming in her crib just like one of the kids from The Sims. When she didn't fall back asleep after a few minutes I called mom and she said okay we're on our way home anyway. We think she has nightmares sometimes it's fine. Double quote. Never again. Someone attempting to break in. I have a 75 pound boxer and have never seen anyone run as fast as that man did. Robbers are fast. But my boxer is faster. I woke up at 4am because of the screaming on TV. They were showing Twilight and Bella was giving birth. Truly terrifying experience. After watching the first Doctor Who episode with Weeping Angels I'm pretty sure I didn't sleep for 3 days. That episode put the fear of God in me. My dad dropped me off at home after bringing my sister to her party and I walked into a CD blaring super loud on our big old fashioned speakers. The CD was super hot when I took it out so it had to have been playing for a long time. But I hadn't heard it going when we left. Turns out my sister had left the CD in and then while we were gone there was a tiny power outage that made the music start again. Kinda silly. But all that was going through my head was. My favorite band is really gonna be the soundtrack to my death. Nice. This was when I was kid home alone. I usually move around a lot while I sleep. I woke up and hadn't moved. I thought it was cool it would be super easy to make my bed. I grabbed the bedding moved it back a little before tossing in place. There was something black sticking out. I tossed the bedding back further. There was a massive black wasp in my bed. An inch from where is was sleeping. Buzzing loud pissed off. I put the bedding back done and proceeded to try and crush it until the buzzing stopped. I grew up on a farm bugs usually don't bother me. But I checked my bed 4 weeks after that. The neighbor's dog being hit by a car. Because of the sudden sound of screeching tire. Bang. Loud yelp scream. Then guy screaming nyuuuu. At the top of his lungs followed by a chorus of screaming and crying. By the time I got to the window they were carrying him away. It was really. Really sad. And just hearing such a guttural scream of grief from someone in the middle of the night was terrifying in itself and still haunts me. Poor family and dog. Dot. Two Jehovah Witnesses just walked into my bungalow and started being aggressive and pushy about their beliefs. I think they thought that because I was young and used a wheelchair I would be an easy target. They only left when I threatened to call the police. I woke up on the couch after a night of not good sleep. I looked onto our counter and thought I saw my brother's decapitated head on the counter. I was terrified. But turns out it was a watermelon. Turns out. He's actually Melon Lord. Was playing Xbox on my home theater setup. 100 inch projector screen. Surround sound. The whole shabang. Mind you I had the headset on with the game audio so I turned the volume of the surround sound receiver completely off. Just me. Big screen in the dark room. Was thunder storming outside. Me playing some cod. Next thing you know everything goes black power goes out. That's when I went pale. Well when the power went out and reset so did the surround sound receiver. Who would have known at reset it would turn it back on full blast white noise. Pitch black room. Surround sound white noise on full blast. Full blast. Crazy loud. I couldn't process what was happening I thought I just got struck by lightning. The front door of my apartment complex is broken. So anyone can walk in. People keep trying to open my front door or looking the windows. It creeps me out. Landlord will probably fix it this week and I can't wait. I moved into our house a month before my husband did and I was painting our guest room with the windows wide open. I was busy painting. Listening to music when I realized it had gotten dark outside. I heard the leaves crunching outside but didn't think anything of it because we have a lot of neighbors who walk their dogs. When I went to close the windows I saw a man standing in my backyard under the tree maybe 5 feet from our back door staring up at me. I fell to the floor and realized the back glass door was probably open and nothing but the screen which he could have easily just walked into my house. Crawled to my phone and called my husband who then called 911 while rushing home to me. We have a 6 foot tall fence around our yard. 
this person opted to watch me. I couldn't sleep right at night for months. Not supernatural or anything just a timely coincidence. Last October I found a Ouija board in Goodwill. Brought it home. A few days later I was home by myself and threw what the heck I mess around with it. So I sat down on the floor and I'm not even joking when I say this. As soon as I said is there someone here the power went out. Like a week. Later found out wind had knocked down a power line. Not gonna lie I pissed my pants from fear. Fell down the stairs in the middle of the night. Broke my leg. Had to crawl to my phone to call an ambulance and then to the door to open it. Fun times. When I was like 9 my parents were both at work one day and I was chilling at home by myself when the intercom rang. We lived in an apartment block. It was some lady asking if I've ordered a pizza. I calmly told her that I didn't. Then she said. Oh. Well. Do you want a free pizza? Just let me in and I'll give it to you. 9 year old me was fking terrified by this. Not because I found the idea of free pizza particularly scary. But because my dad used to tell me really drastic cautionary tales for why I shouldn't open the door to strangers, and other stuff. So I was genuinely convinced that the woman wanted to come and so she could murder me. My ex-boyfriend showed up in front of my apartment and texted me he was there because he wanted to talk. I told him I wasn't home. Thankfully it was during the day so I had no lights on, and he called me a liar. He stayed outside for nearly an hour until he gave up and drove off. I stayed in my bathroom the entire time while on the phone with my best friend. Looking back I should have called the cops but I was a scared 17 year old. I took in a friend's cat that she did not want and I thought was being mistreated. My first cat. I was living alone for the first time in a very long time so I was uneasy for about the first year. One night I heard a horrifying scream and went from sound asleep to standing next to the bed. I have no memory of moving I jumped up so quickly. It was my cat hollering at another cat walking across the backyard. Scared me to death. A home invasion. Happened to me. 2. I was 12 f at the time. Homesick from school while my parents were out. Sleeping. Heard a bunch of noises. Went to living room. Saw guy with crowbar trying to break into the house, door had large window in it. So I could see very clearly. Comma he saw me and ran off. I grabbed a knife from the kitchen. Chased after him a few feet. But he was long gone. My roommates were out of town and my dog started growling in the middle of the night at something at the end of a dark hallway. She never behaved like that so I was genuinely freaked out. Then I started hearing noises coming from my kitchen on the other side of the house. I was fully convinced someone was in there so like any idiot in a movie I got a flashlight and a weapon and went to investigate. As soon as the flashlight hit the kitchen area something freaked out and knocked a bunch of shti over. I was terrified and then my flashlight hit the culprit. A huge f king raccoon had snuck through the doggy door and was eating my dog's food in the kitchen. We made eye contact and it immediately fled outside. Just about 4 months after I got my pup, German Shepherd, we were home alone relaxing in my bedroom. When my very specific call to her was heard by both of us. Her ears perked up and she started softly growling. She is usually a calm dog and loves people but not this time. I looked outside my window to see a pair of eyes looking at me with no other facial features. Naturally I yelled fuck. And my dog started barking loudly. I go get my dad's gun to feel safe. As if that was going to do anything. I then turn on the floodlights to our backyard and nothing was there. After that I felt a presence in the corner of the yard and my dog since then has been wary about that area as well. I didn't train her where to poop as long as it's on the grass however that one corner of the yard isn't touched by her after this incident. Hearing my cats walking around upstairs but my brain thinking it's human footsteps. Edit. Wow this blew up thank you kind strangers for your updates. This happened just a few hours ago and then I was laughing about it just from the absurdity of the situation but now I'm a bit creeped out. I live in the outskirts of a small rural town with low crime. My neighbors are hoarders and their junk clutters their yard. It's storming pretty severely with rain wind crazy lightning act. 
Enter morbidly obese naked man. Just walking in the street. Peering at the junk hoard. Looks in the neighbor's window. Starts going through their wet soggy junk. Notices my house and goes behind our tree trying to peek in the window of my room. Must have seen my light on because off he goes to the tune of thunder down the road peeping in other windows. What the actual fuck. Left my house to get the mail and came back to find the front door wide open. Right as I walk in. The phone starts ringing and caller ID says it's my own phone calling from inside the house. I freak out. Go back outside with my dog. And call my best friend thinking it's some sort of serial killer. Turns out it was a total coincidence of me not closing my door properly and a phone glitch. I'll always thank the universe for that dope when a stranger calls reference though. I was watching a show where a mother literally became her home and the walls would move in order to protect her kids from the outside world. I felt my house shift. Almost like in slow motion. Kind of like on the show and I thought well this is just a side effect of too much TV. But then I screamed when pictures started falling off the mantle. So I quickly changed the channel and it was actually an earthquake. According to my dog. Fireworks. Distant thunder. A car door slamming. A car door opening. A truck hitting a bump. A truck starting. Someone dropping an object. An object falling on its own. A pine cone. A tractor. A dog somewhere outside. A person somewhere outside. A person walking a dog somewhere outside. A cough. A fart. A sneeze. Light breeze. An acorn falling down and bouncing off a car's roof. A pile of leaves. The mail truck. The mail carrier. The mail. An umbrella. A toddler. A leaf blower. Or a dumpster being emptied six blocks away. I was doing home renovations and was painting a sunroom with oil base paint. It was stinky. So my brilliant ass closed off the door to the rest of the house so the smell wouldn't spread. And I didn't want to open the front door and invite a bunch of bugs in the house. So I was spraying very fumy paint in an enclosed space when I was home alone and my wife wouldn't be home for another 10 hours. Fortunately, I had the presence of mind to eventually notice that my tongue had gone numb. And got myself out of there before I had the chance to pass out and die. Only to be discovered many hours later. Not the typical home alone story. But it was terrifying when I realized what I had almost done. Woke up with all the gas burners tuned on with no flames on when I was like 13. Opened the doors and got the hell outside. I heard a loud crash and glass breaking in the basement. It ended up being a box of glass canning jars falling off of a rather precarious stack of other boxes. When I was like 10 I was home alone and some really persistent sales dude was ringing our doorbell and wouldn't go away. My parents instructed me to never open the door. He stood on our front door for probably 3 or 4 minutes looking in the window. I was alone two months ago and it was raining heavily. Was was watching a movie with headphones on in the middle of the night with lights off. Suddenly I heard voice that didn't fit into the movie. I took of my headphones and I still could have hear it. It wasn't human but it wasn't natural either. It came from next room. There was also light coming from there. Turns out it was just my sister's Furby. One of those smaller. Newer ones with glowing eyes. It was raining so heavily that vibrating window woke it up. I was 12. My parents left to go to dinner. It was pitch black outside and I decided I would watch the movie that they said not the watch. A little film called Alien they rented. I popped in the VHS tape and proceeded to sit back with my bag of microwave popcorn. That's not the scary part. The scary part is when I heard something on the deck so I turned out the lights and snuck over with a flashlight to the sliding door. I turned on the light and ripped open to curtain to see my reflection. Only it didn't register for a few seconds until after I fell into a heap on the ground screaming like a baby. I was home alone on Christmas Eve. My parents had gone out to grab some last minute things. I was about 6 or so. And was just playing with my toys in my room when I heard heavy feet walking around. I remember sneaking out of my room and peeking around the corner to see a large figure with shiny black boots walking around. I thought it was Santa. 
and I was awake so I panicked internally. I snuck back to my room. Put my toys away and then I went to bed. I found out when I was 16 that it wasn't my parents trying to convince me that Santa was real. And that they had no idea what I was talking about. A guy had broken into our house. But he thought no one was home and thankfully didn't look around too much.